Please make sure that your ticket says the correct name. I don't know how we did that a don't few months ago. Don't screw up your name. It's because it'll cost you. It's gonna that's cost you. That's our biggest travel blunder so far. It's a big mistake. Big bigger mistake. than we thought. Keith would have been sitting beside Devin O'Halloran, who doesn't exist, and I wouldn't be on the flight. We're Keith and Deb, and we've been traveling full time for the last eight months. During that time, we've used forms of transportation as accommodations, including night buses, night ferries, and tonight we are going to try something new: spending a night in an airport. Subscribe to follow along. We're eating our last ice creams in Canali because this evening we are going to be hopefully taking a car, then being in Matala for a little bit, then taking a bus, then making it to the airport to spend the night in the Heraklion airport to catch a 6 a.m. flight to Athens to then run to another flight to Dubrovnik and then hopefully a bus to our Airbnb tomorrow. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah, over 12 hours starts now, but right now we're gonna take this time and take it in. Be chill, relax. <laughs> before the craziness begins. Travel day. Oh man. We're leaving, bye now, it's been fun. Also, listen and John left this morning if you were wondering about that. Bags on, sling on, whoop. And a grocery bag, obviously, for all the food that we're gonna be eating for the next, well, travel day. Catching a ride with our new English pals that uh, help run this place. Man, it's tough leaving here, not gonna lie. Goodbye, it's really hard. <laughs> From work, I'm sorry. That's okay. No, you just smell good. <laughs> hey, John, oh, gonna get a handshake on. There you go. Thank you so much again, uh, dude. Thank you, it was dude. awesome. Step one complete. We're in Milatos and T minus. No, we're in Malia. Oh, dang it's it. It's okay, there's a lot of cities that Devin's uh, pronounced. She, no, she's learned. You've learned a lot of names of places here. Mm -hmm. And T minus 13 hours until our first flight. <laughs> wow, that's a long time. Coffee shop, work, chilling, and figure out the bus schedule. Yeah, that's our first step. We made it to the cafe. We saw the bus stop and apparently it runs every half an hour so we're gonna chill here for a bit and use up some of our time so we're not just waiting in the lobby of the airport. Also it's sweaty so we're back to the sweaty, damp, travel lifestyle. Smoothie time. What are we getting? Update. We've been here for like less than an hour. And we're both already so tired and it's We didn't sleep very much last night. <laughs> it is almost seven. We're not even at the airport yet. This is gonna be such a long night. <laughs> oh, it will be. And we're sweaty already. But the AC is good here. Yeah. Turn it off, it was kinda cold. The smoothie was excellent. Getting some work done. I fall asleep. Well, the coffee shop is closing, it's 8 o'clock. Now we gotta figure out what our next move is, whether it's catching the bus or going to another bar. And off. Don't know where we're off to, but we're off somewhere. Found a bench, so we're gonna sit here. Just for a little bit at least. <laughs> I don't know what to do right now. So over a month ago we decided, why book a hotel room when we're gonna be sleeping until, what, 2.30 and then having to grab a taxi and pay for that taxi to get to the airport for a flight at 6 a.m. And most of the things we found were like 100 euros for a night. And we were like, you know what, we can just stay at the airport all We'll leave night. late from Kunali and stay at the airport for a while or around. So here we are, bumming around for the first time in a while. That's a bus. That's a bus. It goes by every 15 or so minutes. Um, and the guy said, don't push it, don't wait for the last bus. So we should probably aim for 10 o'clock, 9.30. It's eight right now. An hour and a half. That's all with this update. I mean, travel days it can be just us being on benches, waiting, and then being stressed and rushing somewhere. That's just oh, really how it is, it isn't it? Downstairs. It's like waiting, yeah. waiting, and then rushing somewhere. So we decided this bench is pretty comfy, so we're gonna eat popcorn and read some Harry Potter and just chill here, because we don't know if there's gonna be seats in the airport, because we're not allowed to go through security till three in the morning, so. And we don't need to spend money at a bar. No, so we're gonna people watch and we catch popcorn the bus. and 
read Harry Potter. Yay! Over at the Slytherin table, Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle were laughing at us. This bench was lovely. We read some Harry Potter, but it's time to go find probably a curb to sit on to find our bus. <laughs> oh, water. We gotta get some water because it might cost quite a bit more at the airport. 80 cents for these 1.5 liters. All right, bus stops over here. It's about three after nine. Catch the next one. We made it on the bus. It is comfortable and peaceful, and I think we have about an hour here. So I might take a bit of a nap. Thank you so much. Excellent. And we're out of our comfy bus. That was really peaceful and nice. They're really closing the hatch. Yeah, they are. And now we're back on the street. Classic, get off the bus, get kicked out, spit out. Yeah. Wait, this way, I think. That way. Expectations for this airport are that it's quite small, and we have to wait until three to get past security, and it's likely that our flight's gonna be delayed. Uh, we made it! Eight hours here, let's go. Hey. Got another part. Nice, and I think it's right through those doors over there. Perfect, so we'll chill here for a bit and then move inside eventually. Maybe have some dinner out here, a little 10 p.m. dinner. Time to eat some dinner. They've made some pasta earlier our today. Leftover food, so oh, fed it, up to tomato eat, so. sausage. I'm starving. This we looks so good. I'm gonna be straight up here, Reckland Airport. It is not, not the cleanest, there's not much to it, but our expectations were low, so that's good. For all places to spend eight hours at an airport, I don't know if I would pick this one again, but it'll make for a great experience. Well, we didn't pick it because, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose, this was not on purpose. Yeah. I miss our other bench. This bench hurts my butt. <laughs> not as good a bench as the Like, one. I'm not gonna lie, this bench, Hurts. It's gonna be a long night. It's a really long one. <laughs> it's only 10, quarter after 10 now. 20 after 10. Well, I killed a good 15 minutes. <laughs> that was excellent. Good job, Dev. Dev has left. Uh, she said if she's not back in five minutes, then to come join her, which means that she might have found some seats. It's been about two minutes since she's not back. So I think we might have seats inside now. So that's good. Well, it's been five minutes. Time to pack up my stuff and head inside and find her. See ya, Bench. I didn't like you. Let's go find Devin. As you can tell, there's really not much to this airport at all. What the heck? How did you find these? Good, fine, Devin, a massage chair. Wow, that's pretty good. The airport's not too bad, it's just a bit dirty. But before security, there's actually some, there's some things. There's some benches, there's like a couple shops. This is in Malaga, for example. There was just one Starbucks before security. Home for the next four hours, hopefully, unless we get kicked out, hopefully we won't. But we'll definitely take turns sleeping because I think I'm definitely gonna fall asleep in this chair. Yeah, good find, Devin. Excellent job. This is pretty lucky. <laughs> it is 12.30 at night. 12.34, actually. Devin's asleep. I'm watching a movie, we're taking turns. It's pretty comfortable. It's very lit though, and I feel like this airport does not stop. I'm happy we found these benches though. It's comfortable. But Devin's left. I feel like a new person. That was so nice. I, I watched like my show. Yeah, you slept a good amount. I finished my Lupin show, French show. It was amazing. It was really good. But I'm pooped. Mm -hmm. So he's going to sleep now. I'm going to stay awake. It's 1.53 in the morning. I do have to go talk to the people because on my boarding pass it says Miss Devin O'Halloran, not my last name, Libri, and we want to make sure I can get on the flight because we don't know how that happened. So I have to go figure that out. So I'm back. Key sleeping. Turns out that I would not be able to get on the plane with my tickets, but they don't open until 4.30. So I have to go back at 4.30 to get a new ticket, hopefully. Because um, here you actually can't go through security until two hours before your flight, I guess, because it's so small. So, all good. We're just going to chill here. He's going to nap, so that'll be good. There's a cup, and uh, I'm still tired, obviously. It is 4.45. I feel like I'm the most tired-looking person here. Everyone seems pretty awake. 
and boat loads of people are pouring in. Devin's checking her her name ticket issue, which might be a bigger problem than we thought. Well, I'm watching this stuff. Keep it posted. Well, we're off now. We for five hours in those chairs. Yes, bad news. Let's take a stop for a second. I took because of a, a typo. Ticket. Yeah. Yeah, because of a typo. The woman wouldn't and let us we're not go. Married. So Devin O'Halloran couldn't prove it with her passport and everything. I mean, Asian Airlines protocols, I, I want to look that up. So we just spent twice as much on this flight as we were supposed to. I'm trying to be positive here. It was 163 euros, which is not the end of the world. It's a big chunk of change, but at least we're both on the same flight. Like there could have been no space. And then Keith would have been sitting beside Devin O'Halloran, who doesn't exist, and I wouldn't be on the flight. Well, obviously, I wouldn't have left on a flight without you. At least I got. Okay. Yeah, I'm just still gonna sit in Devon O'Hara and see. I'm exhausted. Yeah, obviously we can't can't sit a flight that that's happened. So a lot of that might have not made much sense. We've got our heads back on straight. It's not that big a deal. We're really lucky we both got on this flight. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but pretty much what happened is when we were filling it in, the computer must have auto-filled Keith's last name with my first name. So even though all my information was there because like it was the passport name. number, birthday, email, all this stuff is there. You don't get that in an email, so you don't have proof no, that so it's it, you. Anyway, so it was the wrong name. So Devin because we're not married, and I couldn't prove that Devin Labrie is also Devin O'Halloran, because Devin O'Halloran doesn't exist, um, <clears throat> I had to buy a new ticket. I think it's such garbage, though, because it's in the system. But Okay, but the whole yeah. point, this is not a rant. This is us being like, it's all good. Yeah. We're, I made it on the flight. Luckily, they were able to get me another ticket, and we're going to a Croatia together. So, well, we still have to take two flights, so we're literally <laughs> still only halfway, not even. Yeah, really. So we'll see what this video brings. Holy smokes. That's annoying. We're now boarding flight number one. We're going to enjoy this because it's well worth it. <laughs> Hopefully you get 45 minutes of sleep. We took off the masks because it seems to be not mandatory. So. Which is great. Good night and good morning and we'll see you in Athens. See you in Athens. <laughs> We have 20 minutes till boarding. And I think we have to go through security. It's a bit stressful, and we both have to pee. Ah! It's busy, but we should probably pee first. Okay, now that we peed, we have to run to, what, is, what was it, A? A20 something. A20 something, halfway down this corridor. Well, hopefully not through security, but probably through security. There is, see you on the other side. There is security. And we made it past customs and security. Customs took some time because, as always, we're missing a stamp. And, and then all of a sudden it matters. And it's like, how long have you been in the EU? We're following all the guidelines, people. We have Holy all the smokes. answers. We have our flights and everything. We have our Lisbon and we have our Athens layover that was brief. Anyhow. After a month of not traveling air side, man, we're rookies again. Yeah. Also, we're boarding right now at 7.35. <laughs> So our flight is now boarding, but Keith decided we had enough time to go to the lounge, which is just upstairs. So I really hope he comes back soon. It's Made it. I actually didn't know where to go. I had to look at signs. Anyways, I found it? it. It took me like two minutes it was to find just it. Above us, right? Yeah, but it's not this, we're not the same terminal we were last time. Last time we were in B, this is A. So it was different. And now we're in line and we made it. We are in line to get on this plane, so... Well, to get on the bus to get on the plane. Those Another things always are funny. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We made it on the flight. Oh my gosh, it has been a 
long travel day and so far. it's not done we still have to do quite a few more things before we get to our accommodation mm -hmm. so, so no continues. window seat we got the aisle this time because we didn't pick because it costs more so we'll see you in Dubrovnik which I don't know if you knew that's where we're going we're going to Croatia see you in Dubrovnik Thanks. we slept the whole time and we landed in Dubrovnik yeah new country although right now there's a bit of a delay getting off the plane so back to sleep <laughs> and we're moving and we're off Thank you very much, Omar. Thank you, yes, Thank you, you. need to learn some Croatian. We're in another country! Woo! Really? The next part of this trip is to get a shuttle to Old Town Dubrovnik. Hopefully it's easy. Got our bus ticket. It's $11 Canadian per person to get from the airport into the town. Okay, it's here. Let's go! So this should be our last form of transportation. The final Hopefully. one. <laughs> Yes, we made it. Wow, that was a long 17 and a half hours and still gotta get in there and find our place. It's so far, it's totally worth it. Even paying the extra $200 to get my second ticket on the flight. That gate is literally a drawbridge into a medieval fortress. It's a drawbridge. And now we're in it. Now we're in it. Wow. Also, our Airbnb. Dubrovnik. We're so excited to see because it's right downtown and it is in the old town. Crazy. Okay, we look down this this row we're supposed to go up and it's just straight up these stairs. Good exercise. Wow. Travel day is not over yet. We still have to wait another three hours until two o'clock. It's now 11. At this little cafe restaurant right there at that door, that's our apartment slash Airbnb. But, you know, can't check in early. It's humid here. It's been a good, successful travel, well, successful. It's been a travel day. It's been a long one. Our shoes. Our brains are just not working right now. I know. All you can drink orange juice and coffee. Okay, so we were just told our room is ready, so Keith is still working on our next video, but because we're right here, I'm gonna go check it out. So this is literally right downtown, and I'm so excited to see this room. It's at the top of some stairs, but this is no big deal. Open it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've been wearing those shoes for 19 and a half hours. I mean, it's not that long in the end, but it was overnight, you know, and it was hot. It's nice to be in a place with a bed and a shower. Shower's the priority, Devin's in already. <gasps> oh, wow, this is so nice. What it's, a crazy 24 hours. It did not go as expected, but we did make it. We did, 19 hours of travel, it was overnight. Yeah, a bit of a... Recap, um, please make sure that your ticket says the correct name. I don't know how we did that a Don't few screw up your ago. name. It's Because it'll cost you. It's going to cost gonna you. Be, that's our biggest travel blunder so far. It's a big mistake, big bigger mistake. than we thought. But also, it is what it is, and we did make it. And lost my rain jacket. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> so also, Always check the overhead compartment. Also, staying up all night to catch an early morning flight is harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, Hereklown Airport is also a bit of a rough spot. <laughs> <laughs> but if you get the massage chairs, you're good. Yeah, look for those. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching our video, and we're really excited to explore this place. We're in Croatia. So we'll see you tomorrow in our next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Our handy dandy Tupperware utensils with a tiny little serrated knife that doesn't get confiscated. Ooh, security, we get past you. Not our bus. This bench is very uncomfortable, so I'm going to sit on my sweater. <sighs> yeah, but now my lower back's getting a lot of it. Yeah. Just realized, well, my raincoat fell off, probably in the airplane, in the cubby. It's about time, honestly, because I was wondering how long it would take until it fall fell out. So I guess we need a new spot for it. Hopefully we don't get too much more rain. I've lost a couple things over the last six you months. Have. I mean, my bathing suit in week two, socks, 
Yeah, and I've lost things. Jacket, Raincoat. Yeah. We have a coffee. You know, I like my coffee. A fridge. Oh my god, this place is amazing. This is like the nicest Airbnb. Oh my god, I can even do a little makeup sesh right here. Not that I wear makeup. I can't get over this.